Hello everyone, my name is Kelsounds. Um, Ableton just released Ableton 12. So I was looking around, uh, they got some pretty good stuff. And so I was looking at the Roar effect and I thought that was pretty interesting. Come along with me in this journey and we will create something interesting, I guess. I'm just going to start because I think I want to make like a pluck noise. So I'm going to go ahead and get my favorite synth here, Phase Plant. Serum and Faceplant are both my favorite synths. My go-tos. Serum is, of course, easier to use and you can get sounds faster. Faceplant's for the nitty gritty stuff. Probably turn this to zero. Let's go really fast. Then, oh, that's, that's, oh, just wonderful. Do this. Here we go. Divide this by two. They also have some good effects here for the piano roll. They have um, pitch and utilities, transformation tools, generative tools, which is pretty cool. But we're not going to mess with that today. We're going to mess around with the roar effect. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a fat rate on it. Just kind of saturate it a little bit. Not too much. I'm going to make a new group and put a bunch of disp uh, dispersers in there. Yeah, that sounds cool. We duplicate that like three times. Fourth one, why not? Oh, that sounds cool. It's like a popping bubbly noise. I mean, you can obviously tell that's a disperse effect. Yeah, we're just going to tweak some knobs here, see what we get. Uh... And then I'm just going to put a simple filter here, cut it off at like 210 hertz, and yeah, maybe grab a 3-band EQ, and boost the mids here. Yeah, there we go. I like that. All right, and I'm just going to leave that sound there. I'm not going to mess with it. And from here on out, we're just going to mess with the roar. But before I do, I'm going to go to the dynamics tab here, grab me a blue compressor so that way... Uh, it's not going above zero decibels. All right, so this is Roar. I'm guessing this is the input, so or it's called Drive. Of course, the more you push it, the louder it gets. Uh, sorry for that. But I'm just going to adjust the input a little bit here. Maybe like... That's fine. Nothing too loud, because I still want to have some room uh, to mess with the distortion, or the shaper here. So Roar has this like really interesting way of distorting. You have single, which is just the effect here of roar. Then they have serial, which is like two-stage distortion, which is very interesting. And then they have parallel, which is like side-by-side -side playing together. They have multiband. This is probably going to be the most interesting one to play with, but uh, for now we're just going to stick with single. They have mid-side, and of course they have feedback, which works with the feedback mode here inside of roar. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, just for today, I think I just want to mess with a single. And, uh, eventually, I think I'm going to play around with some more modes here, but I just kind of want to mess around with this and play around just to see what I can get. That already sounds pretty cool. So uh, what I like to do is kind of just turn this compress knob up all the way, and just kind of squish the sound. Tweak some knobs here. Yeah, we're just going to kind of mess around with the knobs here. I'm even going to mess with the tone here. Actually, maybe I won't switch the sound. Actually, I'm just going to put it back at 25 and adjust the output volume. Of course, we can try these different modes that they have here. Ooh, trifold looks pretty interesting. I'm just going to stick to digital digital clip. Adjust the output again. I see that they have a comb filter, which is very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the res. I don't really have a uh, specific sound in mind, so I'm just going along with it. 
Go ahead and adjust the envelope here on the LFO. Go ahead and adjust the rate as well. All right, perfect. Kind of like the way that sounds. I'm going to just run with the frequency here. Okay, so I kind of like it all the way down. Put it right about here. All right, perfect. I go ahead and insert another MIDI track here. Plant a simple triangle wave. Kind of drag this down. There we go. Perfect. Put another EQ low end frequency interfering with the sub bass. All right, I think I'm going to group it. Then put another roar on. This isn't going to have as much distortion. I like that. Go ahead and turn the sub up a little bit. So instead of doing it through there, I think I'm just going to grab a gain spin. Yeah, that's good enough for me. And yeah, that's pretty much, uh, I think I like the way that sounds. Of course, put some of the good old over-the-top compression. Turn it up. <laughs> As they say, uh, turn down for what? I don't know if that's still a thing, but hey, whatever. The time go by a little bit faster. Actually, no, we'll just leave it alone. Yeah, we'll just have it set at 20%. I like the way that sounds. Bend this out a little bit longer. This down to E0. Turn this into a triplet. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty. And there you go. Except I don't like the way that sub bass kind of clips. You can kind of hear it a little bit. It's like... Drag this out. Shade it. Just drag this out. Yeah, that's pretty much the sound. Alright, so yeah, that was pretty dope. Um, that was me messing around with Roar for a little bit. If you want to have the sample, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a little sample pack and upload it to my blog post on my website. It'll be in the description. So yeah, if you're interested, you can go ahead and download those. But yeah, that was just a little bit of fun with Roar. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you the next one. Adios.